In 1940, Britain's survival came down to a secret network of towers that could see enemy bombers before anyone else could, long before the Luftwaffe even crossed the channel. This system was called Chain Home, the world's first operational radar defense network. It was built in the late 1930s under the direction of Sir Robert Watson Watt, and by the summer of 1940, it stretched across England's east and south coasts. When the Battle of Britain began in July 1940, the German Luftwaffe expected to crush the RAF quickly, but they didn't know Britain had something new, early warning radar feeding real-time data to Air Chief Marshal Hugh Dowding's fighter command. Before German formations reached the coast, radar stations like RAF Ventnor, Rye, and Dover detected them up to 120 miles away. That information flowed into the filter room at Bentley Priory, where operators plotted altitude, speed, and direction. Fighter squadrons from No. 11 Group, led by Keith Park, were scrambled only when needed, saving pilots, fuel, and aircraft. Day after day, radar let the RAF meet the Luftwaffe at the perfect moment, instead of flying blind patrols. By September 1940, Germany failed to achieve air superiority and the invasion plan, Operation Sea Lion, was shelved. The irony? Germany knew radar existed, but underestimated its impact. In the end, a chain of steel towers and radio waves, not sheer firepower, became the quiet weapon that kept Britain alive in 1940.